today we're in the Muslim Cultural Heritage Centre following this very momentous day where we've been with sisters from around the UK uh, all coming together specifically to hear good practices of where sisters have delivered services to help Muslims as well as non-Muslims from their masajid. I'm here today for this um, Women in the Prophet's Mosque um, conference and it's been really interesting so far. Uh, the speakers have been great, they have been women and men and what, what I'm finding is that you know sometimes I have the narrative of the media and propaganda about women and women's place in Islam and actually what I found out today has been really interesting and quite eye-opening really. I think this uh, occasion has been incredibly important uh, because it has been uh, one which was aimed at empowering women to get involved in all sorts of uh, service provision throughout through the mosques system of governance. Um, the New Muslims Project and providing care for converts would be one of those areas of service provision. Also uh, other areas to do with um, visiting schools, schools visiting the mosques, the mosque going out to speak to children in schools, uh, counselling and advice, uh, spirituality for women and all sorts of other things that are so important for women who have been so marginalised within the whole mosque uh, community and governance in particular system. Um, so it's been a wonderful occasion. I'm hoping that inshallah uh, the exercise will be rolled out across the whole of the UK and perhaps we can come to your mosque uh, near to you and be able to provide you with a workshop and introduction to the work we do and to the services that we provide and we hope inshallah that they will inspire you to provide similar services uh, through working in your own community mosque. I think one of the roles that women can really uh, very powerfully play when it comes to mosques is to be the you know people that welcome people in working with people in a, in a social action type of role really working with people from all backgrounds and really absolutely being part and parcel of the everyday life of the mosque I find that this is an important area uh, that mosques can provide in terms of support for women women can understand other women better because some women cannot relate or, or, or tell their story to a man which they find quite difficult when they have somebody to actually guide them through it it makes the whole journey a lot easier and I think counselling is a service that massages actually need. The whole idea was to emphasise this and the great need that we have to really um, spread this throughout the whole of the UK inshallah ta'ala so that we find that you know it's not just isolated incidents of mosques are doing this but we find that it's really all over the UK that sisters are actually nourishing their soul and really gaining that connection with their deen that they so desperately need. I think it's a very great step that uh, everybody is taking to promote female scholarship and uh, as we know it's, it's a challenge but I believe it's a challenge that we can tackle together if we're all in it together. Today we've launched this booklet about women and mosque management and involvement. And I think it's a very important um, toolkit for sisters who want to come and understand about how mosques are run and if they want to get involved. But I think it's a very comprehensive guide in terms of looking at how the Prophet's Mosque was run, how women were involved in that time and how we've lost that and how we need to regain it.